So since 2014, uh, eight organisations have been working together, thinking, dreaming, working towards uh, a, a unified position uh, to consider what would be our first steps uh, under the Empowered Communities proposal and also action. And so we have Ngāldāda Council, Ngāldāda Health Service, which work in the western area uh, of our region, Central Land Council, Central Australian Aboriginal Congress Health Service, which works uh, in the NT region, Maywira Regional Stores Council, and regional Arnagal services, which work in the Arnagal Pinjara lands. And then we have uh, two tri state organisations which cover the three. Uh, my organisation, NPY Women's Council, and I can uh, proudly and warmly say that Western Desert Dialysis, which started in the NT, which two years ago began re renal services in Western Australia, uh, now in Warburton and Kiwikura and uh, this week, thank you to uh, your government, uh, Minister, that we will now move renal dialysis services into the south and it is now going to be a tri-state organisation in years to come. Uh, it also fits into the time frame we have seen in Women's Council. Uh, how long these battles take when an idea is birthed in the nations and a change has to happen in government in the way that it does business. With petrol sniffing and opal fuel, that took 10 years. With alcohol reform, that took 10 years. And with renal dialysis in the bush, it's taken 10 years. But uh, the, the great thing is that we're not going anywhere, so we're, we're staying the course to get the change to happen. So across all of our eight organisations uh, that work in the NPY region, we cover child and maternal health, mental health services, primary health services, chronic disease, law, uh, housing, uh, social enterprise, traditional healing, economic development, la land governance, uh, and also women's safety, education, disability and age services. So our eight organisations, as the first uh, first group of organisations that are on the cusp of commencing uh, real work under the Empowered Communities proposal. We cover all those areas, but we are working in three different jurisdictions essentially. And so Empowered Communities provides a mechanism for us to come under one umbrella uh, so that we can truly work together as one region working for those three nations uh, around the, those, those long-term uh, social norms of Empowered Communities. We know them well. They cover housing, education, safe communities, uh, looking after old people and children, as well as employment. And so in our region, what we have done is we've looked at those social norms, those five long-term goals, and we've shaped them into our first priorities that reflect what we do and where we are determined to be in the future. We have a very strong and proud history of tri-state or NPY lands advocacy to see change, and I've just mentioned some of them. Opal Fuel, uh, we are the first region to have a cross-border justice scheme uh, to, to deal with uh, offenders who are committing crime and skipping across the border. Now we have magistrates sitting in court in Western Australia and can hear matters relating to an offender from South Australia. Uh, that's the innovation that comes from um, Arnugu and Yanguru Juda. We have uh, Alice Springs Integrated Response to reduce domestic and family violence as a fantastic integrated model for our region to consider. And, uh, and obviously this week we are very excited that the Kidney Action Network, made up of many of the organisations that are part of EC who have been lobbying, and particularly since 2010, to increase bush dialysis so people can remain on country and be with their family and continue life uh, in law and in culture. Uh, and so what has galvanised is this statement in the Ngadara Pitinjayang Kunajara region. And that, that statement is, what can we do together that we can't do on our own? And this has galvanised us to think, what is the possibility under empowered communities? Thank you. <laughs>